Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigwell here and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I fixed the light problem. So now we get proper light so you can actually see my beautiful face and balding forehead. And uh, I noticed that with those videos, kind of every single time we open up with a Black Manta cleanup fight. And I think Manta doesn't get enough appreciation for what he does. He's not going to do as much damage as League of Arky, not as much damage as Kim Flan Sakuman with North Snow Globe, not as much damage as uh, even the Batman Ninja team sometimes, and definitely not as much as Batman the Drowned. But at the same time, he's a very, very reliable character at fighting anything. Problem is, he doesn't do much damage, right? But when you clean up fights, you don't need to do much damage. You just need to have a character that can survive guaranteed and deliver that specific amount of damage or more or less the same damage in every situation. And Manta has no problem. He can fight anything and he can definitely deal some decent amount of damage. It depends on the artifacts. In some swords, I can even get him all the way up to 400 mil. But for the most part, uh, he's, he's just gonna clean up... Uh, Stuff that doesn't have too much. Now here we're going to fight boss Batman and I did a little bit of a mistake. I was just not paying attention kind of doing it um, on autopilot and I by mistake used the special two and that sucks because we proc the weakness early and that means that we had to wait uh, the full duration of weakness to expire and then for him to start building stacks from zero. What we're aiming to do here is to let him go all the way to 10 stacks and then start dealing damage because that will... Uh, Kill him very, very fast. I honestly think this team would have been fine just playing normally, but it, it's always more fun to get the Batman to all the way to 10 weakness stacks and then use uh, a Harley special to, to just destroy him. But judging by the damage we deal just by combo interrupting him and pushing him to the corner, and I'm not doing a perfect job of that, though I don't even need to in this one, we, we could have most likely killed him without pushing him all the way to that point. But yeah, he's at 8 stacks, Harling there, she's just gonna come and chop his ass and keep him in the corner. We have the Dark Melt cards area prepared. Now there we go, 10 stacks, special 2. He's stunned, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 hits, that's all it took. 7 hits, that's all it took to kill boss Batman. Yeah, he only had 600 mil health, but this will get bigger with Rex, obviously. We got a garbage reward. I mean, there was All Blades, but nowadays All Blades is not that much of a great drop. And for me, obviously, it's useless, because I already got it. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe you can do something better with the light. Eh, a bit like this. Ah, that seems a bit better. But yeah, here, we're going to have the... Uh, Raven plus Kim Flan Sakuman versus Boss Starfire. We're going to have the Sword of Sin on Raven, which is going to inflict a debuff on her, a negative effect, as we know nowadays that they're called on Starfire. That's going to reduce her armor, which is useless and I don't care about. But it's also going to um, allow us to uh, keep her at zero power, which is something that's very necessary. And she's being annoying here, doesn't let me land any jump attacks. A third special there from King. Raven back in there. It kind of sucks that we got the special 2 disabled, because um, we could have used the special 2 to stack the uh, Kim Flan Sakuman passive faster. Uh, but uh, that's not going to be possible, we just have to wait for third special energy. I if I didn't have the Sword of Sin, this fight would have been so much more annoying. I mean, also Beta Club and Kim Flan Sakuman, that also plays a very huge role in this team setup. But uh, without uh, making her to stay at zero power, she would have been able to use specials on me when I tagged in. There's not much counterplay to that, and uh, she also power drains on it. So it sucks. This is kind of the most pay-to-win way to deal with Starfire, though. No worry, I I'm dealing with her the normal way on the secondary account, and you all saw that in the, in the videos I posted of the secondary account, so... Yo, I'm going through the same life crisis as you all do on the secondary accounts. Uh, but uh, here we can uh, we can do the spam jump attack combo. We just spam jump attack with King and Raven needs to spam jump attack into special one because she doesn't transition fast enough into a block. And she gets hit after the jump attack if you don't finish in a special. And she blocked there. That was a bit unlucky, but King back in there. Re-engage the combo with the swipe. Jump attack again. With the jump attacks, it's it's simply more damage for the beta club. If you don't have the beta club artifact equipped, no point in doing jump attacks, just combo and chop. Though this is also a way to bypass you not being able to combo and chop, because you don't need to combo and chop to jump attack. You need to time that well a bit, but it doesn't compare to the timing you need to combo and chop. 
Uh, next up, we're gonna have both Cyborg here and honestly, I don't know what happened here. Like, uh, we did a little bit of a benchmark on Grodz in another fight to see how much he can deal with the passive stats that we're able to grant him. And he's got a level um, 4 Puppet of Zatanna, that's on Robin. Brainiac is gonna have sort of uh, Salvation, which was honestly not necessary. Because we're gonna generate a lot of power from uh, just uh, hitting lethals. But the difference would not have been too big. I mean, 4k attack for the team is not too bad. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe actually that would have changed the outcome of this fight, if I think about it. But it, it's too late for regrets. We're going to, as usual, stack uh, up all the way to 10 stacks. And uh, see how much damage Grow deals. Another thing to keep in mind is that while this cyborg specifically, not others... I mean, this cyborg and the other cyborg that are like older cyborgs, but not just like cyborg, those guys you and combo and drop. They leave somewhat of a window between the first hit and the second hit. But it's not gonna be a reliable thing, and I just didn't feel like it, so we're going to attempt to do the infinite combo here. And I messed up the infinite combo bits at points. I was just not comfortable with the way I was sitting. Something, I don't know, man, I'm just trying to find excuses. But this is honestly quite annoying to do with Grots. Like, a lot of characters have access to this, like, three hits, back off all blocking into a swipe right, three hits. So, let's recap it. One, two, three, back off all blocking, swipe, one, two, three, back off all blocking, swipe, one, two, three. Uh, there's a few characters that can do this, like Multiverse, Green Arrow, Dr. Fate, and a lot more. This is just off the back of my head. But out of all the characters that are able to do this, I think with Broad, it's the most annoying to actually do that. It's the most... Uh, not. It, you have to time it very well, because he has a weird back off animation, the block animation, and you just mess this up the most times. And what I want to talk about is that it's weird how much damage we actually deal here. Because when I benchmark this team, I could reach like values all the way up to maybe even 20k. 20 mil, excuse me, dot value. But over here, it seems to be capping at 10 to 12 mil. And I was thinking that it might be because of the class of the enemy, but nah, that's tech. By the way, he's tech right now. Look at how much damage we deal and wait for him to swap on our class so you can see the difference between class disadvantages. So now he's got the class advantage, right? Because he's tech, meta human now, no class advantage. Kind of the same damage, to be honest. It, uh, uh, this is not the best example because the dot value varies on a lot of things, but the class advantage or disadvantage is something that is good if it's there in your favor, but you shouldn't do an active effort to do it. And yeah, use super move, we're simply not doing enough damage and he's gonna survive with some health. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like the if you liked it, this activity if you liked it. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!